Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deborah, also known as Doobage42, and today's Good Stuff Monday is gonna be a little different. It might be a little uncomfortable because it's something we should talk about, especially in light of the nonsense that's been going on in this country regarding race and hate and bigotry. We have got to work on our own preconceived notions of what people are like based on what they look like. And I know many of us, when we've seen someone, a person of color walking by, maybe we lock our door. Maybe we huddle our kids or our pocketbooks a little bit closer. I'm not saying you shouldn't be safe in the world, by all means, but don't base it on the color of someone's skin. It's gonna take us fighting these urges, maybe implanted in us by our parents or by society or by any number of things. We notice differences in people, but you know what? There's only one race. We are the human race. And we are all pretty much the same, except for what's in our heads and maybe what's in our hearts. The color of our skin may be different, my hair is purple, naturally, not so much. My skin is pasty white. That's pretty natural, runs in the family. But that does not make me any different, better or worse than someone with dark hair and beautiful cocoa skin. We have got to start treating each other like the human beings that we are. And it starts with each of us. When you notice that feeling coming up that, oh, they're different, they're other, examine why. When you hear your relatives and maybe your friends saying those words that are so offensive, you know what I'm talking about. The N word. Uh, I have heard people calling people from Mexico and Central America, so-called wetbacks. It's wrong. Stop it, especially here in America. We are a melting pot of all of these other people from other places. You go back more than a couple of generations, most of us are from elsewhere. And you know what? That's part of what makes this country great. We should be a beacon of humanity instead of a pimple on the butt of humanity like we have been lately. Stop it. Make not only Mondays good, but every day good. Meet your neighbors. You see someone in line at the grocery store? Smile. They're not there to steal your damn pocketbook. They're there to buy groceries just like you are. I always have felt very passionate about this. When I was very young, I lived in Connecticut, and I was one of three white kids in my whole class in first grade. And then I moved to Florida. I mean, I, th I thought that was normal. It didn't bother me. My, my best friend lived right next door. She was a black girl named Renee. We spent the night at each other's house. My mom wouldn't let me have cornrows, and I didn't understand why. And I moved to Florida, and then, there was like a grand total of two black kids in the whole grade. And I thought, huh. And they were treated differently and I didn't understand why. Because I wasn't taught to hate. Nobody is born hating. It has to be taught. It has to be learned. And what is learned can be unlearned and updated with new information. Update yourself with new information. Try to update your family with new information. I know that's a tough one. Call out the folks in your family when they say stuff. That's just mildly racist. Just let them know that's not okay. You don't have to start a war on it, but it's not okay. Try leading by example. Don't laugh at the racist jokes. Um, there are other ways to have fun. There are other ways to view people. And I think that we as a society, as a nation, as a world can do it. It's 2017. We should have been living peacefully by now. What happened? Hmm? 
Thanks for stopping by for this Unusual Good Stuff Monday, and I'll see you.